Nobody likes to think about dying, but death is the one certainty in life. When the time comes, it will greatly relieve the burden on your loved ones if you've already got your affairs in order. Matthew Hutton, a former tax consultant and a minister in the Church of England, has written a book on the subject called Your Last Gift. I just find it terribly odd that, that you know, we think about who to marry or not to marry, who to live with, when and whether to have children, uh, where to go on holiday, jobs, where to live, pastimes, um, and so on, that, that, that we invest time thinking about these things. But somehow we don't invest time, naturally, about what arguably is the most important thing. There are two things Matthew says you must do to prepare for the end of your life. One is to make a will. The other is to arrange lasting powers of attorney. None of us knows, uh, first of all, when the end will come, how the end will come. And if mental capacity goes, then if you haven't got lasting powers of attorney in place, then you're at the mercy of what's called the court of protection, which is... <laughs> Uh, such an arcane and difficult procedure are not going to go there. You can appoint one individual, uh, they could be different, you can appoint a number of people, you could appoint them to act jointly or to act severally, that means any one of them um, could act. But rather like executors of a will, they're people that you trust, who know you, you know them, and when you're no longer in a position to make those decisions for yourself, um, they can take them in the best way for you. Matthew recommends having a series of spreadsheets stored on your computer with details of your investments, insurance policies, bank accounts and so on. You should also store details of utilities providers and maintenance contracts. And don't forget your digital assets. You may be talking about a computer, a desktop, laptop, tablet, iPad, mobile phone, social media. Dropbox and other facilities, uh, plus a whole range of other things. And of course, you might have a range of passwords. You might have a, a default password, but then you might have various combinations of that password uh, that you use for particular facilities. And so the vital thing is to, uh, to leave a list and so that your executors know where that list is. Another priority, says Matthew, is to spend time with people in your life who are important to you. That includes friends and relatives you may not have seen for many years. And of course, the great thing about old friendships is that no matter the passing of time, the fact is, you know, you get back to where you were, whether it was 10, 20, uh, 30 years ago. But they're the people you want to spend time with. So. You need to be quite intentional about that. Um, I hit 70 <laughs> uh, three or four weeks ago, and um, 70 is middle-aged, as we, as we know. But as, as the years pass, it does focus the mind um, on places you want to go to, um, holidays you want to go on, uh, but also people you want to spend time with. Now, all of these things you could do on your own, but this is another example of why a financial planner can help. Having someone who can chivvy you along and make sure you get on and do all the things you need to do.